Hey everybody, welcome to Marvel Champions Monthly. I am Kennedy Hawk. Today on our Stealth Strike series, Post Sinister Motives, we're going to be playing our first playthrough um, in this Stealth Strike series where we're going to be playing as the new heroes from the Sinister Motives wave using old aspect cards, or old heroes using new aspect cards to see how the game has been spiced up. We're going to go all against different Sinister Motives villains, so if you haven't played or seen Sandman before, now is the time to tune out because he's already on the screen. So... I'm just going to shuffle my deck up here. The deck we're going to run today is a Gwen Stacy leadership deck, and it is all about using Gwen Stacy with Last Stand and Moxie and Warning and Assess the Situation, all sorts of zero-cost crazy cards that hopefully just make her go bonkers. So, trying to do camera out. Apologize if I don't hold the cards in the right spot. Or get the automatic focus to work at all. There you go. Gwen Stacy can either shuffle, ticket to the multiverse from your discard pile back into your deck, or Betty George Stacy. Her other side is, after you resolve an interrupt or responsibility on an event, ready Ghost Spider, what that once per round. She is one, two, three as her stat line. And we are going up against Sandman, who has the when revealed ability, resolve the surging sands ability on city streets. We'll get to that in a minute. We have Sandblast, forced interrupt. When Sandman attacks you, that attack deals indirect damage. If your identity takes any amount of damage from that attack, resolve the Surging Sands ability on City Streets. So let's read City Streets. City Streets says, Surging Sands, place one sand counter here, discard one card from the top of the encounter deck for each sand counter here. Gross. Hero action, exhaust a hero you control, remove that many sand counters equal to the character's attack. Okay. We have Hapless Pedestrians. You can tell I recorded a game. Well, I didn't record a game because I forgot to click recording. It was real fun just before this. So Hapless Pedestrians says, after an acceleration token is placed on the scheme, deal three indirect damage to the first player. If this stage is completed, that player loses the game. Brutal. We don't want that to happen. All right, we're done shuffling Gwen Stacy's deck. Let's get to shuffling the encounter deck and see exactly how things go here against Sandman. So I've already placed the sand counter from resolving the surging sands ability. I've got my token box here at the ready, all upgraded from Sinister Motives tokens. So I'm super excited for that. And we're almost ready to get underway. All right, so we're gonna start off by discarding five cards, under fire, sand smash, Sand Clone, Advanced, that's good. And now or never. Mostly great news. We're going to draw six cards as Gwen Stacy. So we draw Warning, PNP, Nick Fury, Moxie, make the call, and assess the situation. Um, there's some really good cards here. But what we're going to do is throw four of them away and keep assess the situation in Nick Fury. Because there's some stuff we really got to find in our deck to make this deck work out. And Nick Fury is one of those pieces that could have lead to having like a ridiculous start. We unfortunately didn't get to a last stand, which is the other piece. We'll get that combo off here eventually. So we have a make the call, a ghost kick, a strength, a Spider-Man, and assess the situation, and a Nick Fury. So you can guess what I'm going to do right away. <laughs> I am going to pay four resources for Nick Fury, surprising no one. And we will draw three cards off of that. We draw Spider-Man, Moxie, and PNP. We do not have the resources, the correct resource typing to play Spider-Man. What a bummer. We can flip to hero form and play Moxie. That would ready us, but that doesn't really do much for us other than get us to three attack. We're going to use that sweet three attack to remove three counters from city streets right away because we know how gross that can get. We will thwart for two with Nick Fury. Let's just keep that threat real low. And... Um, after, oh, after Ghost Spider uses a basic power. So let's, let's, let's rewind time for a moment. We're going to instead only remove two sand counters. That way Ghost Spider can thwart, and then I can at least get a card out of my hand. So we're going to use Spider-Man and PNP to play Ghost Kick, which deals six damage to an enemy. Bingo, bango, let's just start punching him, because that's what we do. Now, Moxie is still going to give us plus one defense. I'm going to play Assess the Situation. If we had George Stacy down, we would definitely be throwing that under him. But for now, we're just going to draw six cards for our next hand. So we're readying everybody up. Ghost Spider does have four defense. We're probably not going to block with Nick Fury, and we'll just assign any excess indirect damage there. 
if there is any excess indirect damage, that is. So we drew phantom flip, web binding, phantom flip, um, moxie, and web bracelet. So one threat going on the main scheme. He's going to attack us for three plus something, and we are going to block with Ghost Spiders four. Um, place two sand counters in city streets, then resolve its surging sand ability. Oh, this is gross. If any Sandman cards were discarded, you are stunned. That is a boost effect. So one, two, yep, there's a Sandman. Three, four, five. So he becomes stunned. We do take no damage, which is cool. Um, now the question is, do we want to play Phantom Flip so we can ready? And I think the answer is no for now. All right, our encounter card is an advance. So Sandman's going to scheme for four. Well, that's disgusting. Wishing I was ready now. <laughs> um, unfortunately, everything in our hand is a response. So Nick Fury is going to go away. It is not going to be safe to flip down. And that is, that is the bad guy turn here. So we are going to throw a web binding and phantom flip down to play a web bracers. I'm going to toss a moxie and play assess the situation. This is a real unfortunate turn two for us. We're going to hold phantom flip in hand because we need to get rid of some of that and draw up to six. All right, ghost spider is ready. One threat going on the main. Sandman's going to attack us. We will defend. And we have phantom flip that we're going to play. So he's going to attack for three, four, five. So we'll still take two, unfortunately which means Surging Sands is going to go off for six. This is going well. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's all the assaults. That's good. We can play Phantom Flip, so we definitely shall. And we're going to use Ghost Kick and... I don't want to get rid of my other web bracers, so I'll use Ghost Kick, kick and Last Stand to play Phantom Flip. That's a response, so it lets us ready, and we remove five threat from a scheme, which is really, really good. Draw a card with web bracers, and draw into a warning. Okay. Threat or menace. You may change to hero form. If you're in hero form, place two threat in the main scheme. You may switch to alter ego form, which we will do. That just means you can't flip this turn, but that's probably okay with where we are right now. All right. That was our turn. How exciting. We're going to use Warning and Ironheart to play a second web bracelet, and we'll use Assess the Situation to draw to seven cards. What an amazing turn. We're going to heal that too, because we may as well. <laughs> um, great turn three. Great, th great turn three, Ghost Spider. We do have two web bracelets down. We're doing pretty good here. Three, four, five, six, seven. All right, we got a ticket to the multiverse. Let's go. Let's go. Sandman gets to go first, though one threat, and he's going to scheme for one plus one. That's two more threat. And our encounter card is Sandstorm. Deal X indirect damage on players, where X is the number of sand counters on city streets. If there are no sand counters, place three sand counters and shuffle this card into the encounter deck. So Gwen's just taking six damage to face. That's a real dangerous card. Um, I have not experienced that card before, and I'm kind of glad. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty brutal. <laughs> All right, well, knowing that, you can guess that, uh, oh, oh, nope. When a hero would take any amount of damage, that does not help me. Okie dokie. Well, we're not going to heal. We're going to flip up. We are going to thwart for one and use some kind of ability here. I think we're going to pay two to use a phantom flip. Is that what we want to do? We want to do a ghost kick and get rid of stunned. I think we want to do a phantom flip. Um, which is going to let us remove the rest of the threat. And it's going to let us draw a card with web bracelets. We are going to now remove two sand counters, I think is the right answer. Um, we'll pay play Enhanced Awareness with Power of All of Us, and we'll pay these other three to play Ticket to the Multiverse. Now, do we want to use Ticket to the Multiverse this turn? That's a good question. 
Um, I don't think we do because we haven't seen George Stacy yet, but we could. We get to five. Um, we haven't played any assessor situations this turn, so we don't get to do anything shenanigans wise with uh, tickets to multiverse. That's what I'd really like to do. I think we are going to save it. We're going to save it for one more turn and see if we can hold out here against Sandman. Drawn five cards. We get our George Stacy. All sorts of goodness. Sandman's going to get one threat. He's going to swing for three plus something, and we will certainly defend um, as much as we can. Three plus zero, so we take no damage, which is good. And our encounter card is Rhino, who has steady and eight hit points, which is disgusting. <laughs> He's got zero scheme, so flipping down doesn't feel too horrible right now, which is good news for us. All right, let's go ahead and way overpay for George Stacy. Let's throw a last stand under him by exhausting him. And do we want to take it to the multiverse now? No, we want to flip down. Sorry, making decisions on what we want to do. So we have parental guidance, so we could un George Stacy's in play, attach one event from your hand or discard pile face down to George Stacy. Yeah, let's do that. So let's go ahead and grab one of those assess the situations. That's part of our key combo here. Um, and that's going to be this turn, unfortunately. We're going to ready everybody up here, draw our cards. So we are going to get dealt an encounter card here. We have web binding and make the call so far. We're hoping to draw into two more assess the situations. That would be the bee's knees here, um, but we'll see. All right, we also drew into strength, another make the call, Spider-Man and PNP. We again do not have the resources to play Spider-Man. We can make the call with him though, so that's not too bad. I gotta spend him as a resource somehow first though. That might be easier said than done. Okay, one threat going on the main scheme. We haven't like done anything this whole game. I'm sorry, this deck is failing us miserably. Uh, three more, th three more threat on the main scheme, and we have two encounter cards. We have a sand clone, and we have sand form. Feeling sandy, and that is that. Um, so what do we want to do here? What do we want to do here? We don't really have any good choices of what to do in our hand. We need a lightning bolt resource and we do not have one. Can we do anything with this? Not really. There's nothing I can like pay resources. Oh, I got a plan. Have I ever got a plan for all of you? All right, they haven't fixed this rule yet. So I'm gonna play assess the situation and I'm gonna overplay pay using Spider-Man. Then I can make the call with Spider-Man to bring him into play. Stupid, I know, but we done it. We've got two more Gwen Stacy cards here, so let's exhaust and exhaust using Gwen to get all those placed in there, um, using Gwen to ready George Stacy. At this point, we're gonna flip up, we're gonna clear our stunned, we're gonna have Spider-Man come in and attack for five, and he's gonna do that using Last Stand. So we will get to draw a card with Web Bracers into a Ghost Kick. We'll get the ready Ghost Spider from Spider-Man and throw this away over here. Um, I think Oh, technically we couldn't do that. Um, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. 
we'll have to trigger sand for him and put that five damage back. And we resolve the Searching Sands ability, discarding five more cards. Three, four, five. But. <laughs> All right, Ghosty. Um, now you can clear, now you can deal two damage or you can thwart for one. I think you're gonna thwart for one, get that threat under control. We're gonna go ahead and use Ticket to the Multiverse. We are to remove it from game. We shuffle our discard pile into our deck. Draw up to your hand size, not your printed hand size. So we're drawing all the way up to seven or six is our current hand size because of assess the situation. Which is pretty awesome. And I don't think we have enough things on the board to guarantee we're gonna draw into more assess the situation. So that'd be like the ideal combo, but I'm not too upset with what's happening either way. All right, we have a Moxie, a Spider-Man, a Nick Fury, a Phantom Flip, a Web Binding, and Assess the Situation. So we did get one more Assess the Situation. That's not too bad. Um, so what are we gonna do here? We're certainly going to play Nick Fury somehow. So let's go ahead and use Web Binding, Spider-Man, Phantom Flip, and Moxie. Let's play Nick Fury. He'll draw us three cards. None of which are responses that we can play during this phase. Ain't that a suck. Ain't that a suck. Um, that's a real suck. We will remove two sand counters with Nick Fury. Can't play parental guidance, can't play ghost kick. We can play another assess the situation. And I think I'm gonna keep ghost kick and a strength and move on with our life. So everything's readying up. That combo turn turned out to be a really crummy combo, and now I have big attacks coming to my face. So we'll see how things go with that. We're drawing up to seven cards because we played two assesses that turn. We've got some good options here. So it's not the end of the world yet, but it ain't looking great. First, Hint Man's going to get a threat. He's going to swing at us for one plus three, and we will defend. It ends up being six total. Um... So I'm going to use a warning to reduce that draw card. And we'll place two of that damage onto Nick Fury. This little sand guy is going to attack us for three. And we will defend against him. Rhino is going to attack for three. Nick Fury will defend against him. And we get one encounter card, which is now or never. Place one acceleration check of the main scheme or exhaust a character you control and spend one resource of any type. So I guess we have to place the acceleration token. Um, no, I think we can choose still. Because we can partially resolve the second one. We'll place the acceleration token just to be safe. And by safe, I mean not safe at all, because that puts us to one health. <laughs> But, you know, oh, we can just, we can just cancel this. Why don't we just do that instead of any of that, instead of any of that nonsense? What are we doing here? How are we living our life? Warning doesn't go over there. It goes over here. Um, we have PMP, so let's play it. So we're going to cancel this boost card, cancel its effects, and deal two damage to the villain. Not bad at all. Um, that's going to draw us a second card from Web Racers. Did I draw my first card? Yeah, because Warning. Well, I would have had seven in my hand, so I didn't draw a card. I should draw a card from Warning, and then I should draw a card from PNP. Okay. Not too shabby over here in Spider Man land. So, what are we going to do? We're going to make the call with Power and All of Us and. Two Moxies to grab that Nick Fury right back and throw him into play. Um, and he is going to draw us three cards. One, two, three. Um, we've got some choices of what to do here now. I think... We're going to 
throw Nick Fury in the trash can for nine damage using two copies of Last Stand. We just gots to do it. He leaves play. We get to ready Ghost Spider. Um, I don't have enough resources to play two copies of Ghost Kick. That's a bummer. I can play Spider-Man and get two more uses out of Gwen, though. So let's go ahead and play Spider-Man, meeting our requirements. We're going to go ahead and attack for two, attack for two, get rid of him. That'll let us ready Gwen, and we will remove two sand counters. Or, or, hold the phone. Instead of any of those attack twos and removing two stand counters, what if we thwart one? No, let's remove two sand counters, thwart two, flip down, and recover. Because we are very close to dead. And we know there's some damage coming towards our face. Um. Did we want to do any responses in there? We didn't want to, but we do want to put Ghost Kick under George Stacy and get things underway. So we're drawing six cards. We've got a warning, an assess the situation, another warning, and a Gamora. Wow, our hand is trash, pure trash. Let's see what happens. All right, we are up to four threat and Sandman is gonna scheme for three more. Technically four more because of that sand clone. So we are at eight out of nine. Looking great. <laughs> we did just deck out. So we're going to have to place acceleration token, which makes us take three indirect. So we'll do one and two. This isn't the cleanest game I've ever played, but it's been very fun. So I'll give it that. And um, so what happened? We just placed a bunch of threat. We had to place an acceleration token because the boost card, so our encounter card is another sand clone. Those guys only have one attack now though, so they don't worry me nearly as much as they used to. And that's the, that's the villain turn. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. We've got a ghost kick here. We've got a web binding. That doesn't really help me, you know, but what can you do? You do what you can. We'll use George Dacey and put two warnings underneath him. Might be helpful someday. We're going to flip up. And we are going to swing for two. And I have to decide if I want to hit Sandman with this or not. Um, I kind of think I'm going to hit Rhino. And then I'm going to pay to, to Ghost Kick. And finish Rhino off. And that will ready Gwen and draw me a card. It's a make the call. Guess who's in our discard pile? Nick Fury. We have Genius, Assess the Situation, and Gamora going into our discard. And we're going to draw three cards. We draw into a beautiful last stand. Um, so we might get a little bit. A little bit crazy here. <laughs> so we've done a ready so far from playing Ghost Kick into Rhino. So we've done our ready from Gwen. We haven't done our ready from Spider-Man yet. So that's good to know. We're going to go ahead and hit Sandman. Just going to pop him to the next stage. Um, that does place a sand counter and then resolve surging sands. But we've kept that pretty much under control. So we're discarding two cards here. And he's going to jump up to 19 health. And we're going to see just how much we can burn through as quickly as possible. I promised that this deck was bursty. And we haven't seen any burst yet. So it's time. It's time for the stars to align. Um, so that was Ghosty's attack. Her second attack for this turn. Next, 
we're going to play Last Stand on Spider-Man, who's going to swing for five. When he swings, we get to stay and go Spider. We play the Last Stand, so we get to draw a card from Web Bracelet. And he's going to leave our employment. We can now swing for two into Sandman. And because we drew some cards, we can use Phantom Flip to hit him for six more. Um, let me do maths. So it should have been five plus six plus two that we've hit off Sandman so far. So that's 13. So he should be at six health left. Um, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. We will use Nick Fury to thwart for two before we lose. That would be smart. Smart, smarter things have happened in my life. And you know what? Let's take a two and three ones and put a five out there so we know that it's at six. There is an advance in the discard pile, so that's helpful. Um, it doesn't make me feel great, though. <laughs> We've got one more Nick Fury guy right there, and we're ready to go. We are decking out, so we're dealing ourselves an encounter card. But keep in mind, if we draw into a ghost kick, just take him out in the villain phase. It doesn't bother me too much. We've got five cards in hand. So we have genius, make the call, assess the situation, assess the situation, and ghost kick. All right, let's see if we cannot mess this up somehow. <laughs> so two threat going on the main. It's up to eight. Sandman is going to attack me for three. I will definitely defend. He's going to get a boost of one. So we can warning to avoid that. And draw a card. And ready, Ghost Spider. And then we can use our genius to also play Ghost Kick. And punch the villain for six. So before those sand clones even got to go off, bingo bango, Sandman is toast. Um, did I forget to place threat from a sand clone? It's possible. And then I would have lost. But you know what? I'm happy with the game. Worked out pretty fun. I'm going to lay out the deck really quick. We'll talk about the deck. And then we'll get right back into the video and see how things are going. All right. And here is the deck. So we've got five allies, two copies of Spider-Man, Gamora, Ironheart, and Nick Fury. We're going to be cheating Gamora into play with Make the Call. And hopefully getting around Spider-Man's requirements with Make the Call as well. We've got our general Gwen response and interrupt cards that we're going to use after using her basic powers and when things are revealed. They work out really well. For resourcing, we've got our three basic resources. We've also got one copy of Power in All of Us because that works with all of those allies and we've got an enhanced awareness. Um, I'm not super sold on the enhanced awareness, but it really helps smooth out Gwen's curve. We've got George Stacy, and he's one of the keys to one of the combos we're going to try to play in this deck. Ideally, what you do in this deck is you get Ticket to the Multiverse down earlier in the game. You get three Assess the Situations put under George Stacy. You jump to Hero Form. Maybe you play some things and draw some cards with Web Bracers so that everything's exhausted. You then play the three copies of Assess the Situation that are under George Stacy. Put them into your discard pile. You trigger Ticket to the Multiverse. Remove Ticket to the Multiverse from the game. Discard your hand, shuffle your discard pile into your deck, draw up to your hand size, and ready each Ghost Spider card you control. So you re ready George, ready your web racers. The plus hand size from Assess the Situation counts in Gwen's Ticket to the Multiverse. So you're going to go from five to eight cards, draw eight. You'll shuffle those assesses back in, so you could draw all three of them in theory, and then have an 11 card hand the next turn. Um, and it just gets snowball y from there. So we kind of saw that going on near the end. One of my other favorite combos with this deck is actually a two-card combo that you can start the game with. And it's Nick Fury. In this deck, more than any other, I actually use Nick Fury not for card draw, unlike I did in my playthrough. But you can imagine, here's a pretty cool combo you can have on your first turn. Let's say you get like a really cruddy opening draw. Those three cards, Nick Fury, and Last Stand, after you take your mulligan. Well, you can spend these four cards to play Nick Fury, and he can pop the villain for four. You can flip to Ghost Spider. Get to six for popping the villain. 
Play last stand to swing for another 5, so now you're at 11 damage and Nick Fury goes away. You get to stand, go spider, swing for another 2, hit for 13, turn 1. And all you needed to do is draw these 2 cards. Um, and you can do this with lots of different allies, not all of them have the 4 damage bonus from Nick Fury. You could even draw 3 cards and see if you can do more than 4 damage with those, right? So if you draw into a ghost kick and 2 of anything, the 4 damage from Nick Fury can become 6 damage. So uh, there's lots of redonkulous shenanigans that you can do with that. So I hope you try this deck out. It was super fun. It's one of the two decks that I took through the expert campaign along with Miles Aggression. I have my Marvel CDB write-up already done on that guy, but I still have a little bit of fine-tuning to do in my article for this Ghost Spider um, last stand-up Gwen. Dr. Zero Zero would tell you about stand-up Gwen, which is where this uh, assess the situation shenanigans originates. Um, I just took it and put a blue spin on it because that's that's how we do it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you think about the new camera feed. Um, trying out our new camera system and seeing if my kids cannot destroy it. It's a little bit laggy on the camera feed. I see my hand appears after I start talking about my hand appearing. So I've got a little bit of finagling to do with my capture card. But hopefully this will lead to a lot more real card streamed games for everybody. And we can have a blast with it. Um, last things last, if you haven't checked it out yet, Con of Heroes is rapidly approaching. We're under 40 days away. It's going to be a super awesome event. I can't wait to see a ton of people there and jam a ton of Marvel Champions games. So if you can make it to Con of Heroes, please sound off in the comments below. Let me know what decks you'll be bringing so I can design decks specifically to play with you, my YouTube listeners. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day.